Leroy, personally, have okay. you had this matchup circled on the calendar since you signed with the <laughs> Eagles? Uh, you know what? Honestly, man, no, probably not. Um, and I mean, something that I, I mean, I look to, look forward to, but that's every week. But just, I mean, it's always something special when you get to play your guys again and uh, just to get after some, you know, you always got that chip on your shoulder. What do you remember about that divisional round matchup at the link back in January when you were playing for the Falcons <laughs> and taking on the Eagles? Oh, it was a fight. It was a fight. Uh, and it's something you always got to mentally prepare for. You know, it's a team that's going to come in and compete and work hard. And you know, this team right here that I'm on now, you said we're able to do the same thing at a high level. So it's always a fight. It's always something that you know you battle with. And you just got to mentally prepare yourself for. You had a big play in the game. You had a turnover, yeah. you know, kind of help you know, steer things uh, Falcons way early in the game. What do you remember about that play in particular? Um, you know, well, it was just a, a punt play. You know, a guy kind of got hit by the ball. And just hustling, you know, effort play. One of those special teams plays, you got to just go out and then give all your effort. So, and luckily, the ball rolled right in front of me. What was the mood like in the locker room, knowing that the year before, you guys with the Falcons should have won the Super Bowl and that you guys were two yards away from essentially beating the Eagles and then seeing the Eagles go on to, to win the chip? Right. I, I think mentally going into it, they were like um, uh, last year, just kind of, you know, they had that chip. They had that chip on their shoulder, like, all right, we got to get after these guys. These guys kind of, you know, got after us, you know, this. Uh, past couple of times we played them so this is kind of uh it was one of those things that they took it as a test to say all right see where we are and see if we can get to that next level so but from um, but from a land standpoint the fact that did you feel like that was a game that you guys should have won and oh you know, uh you know you know whenever you're going against you know two elite teams man it, it's really like uh it, it, it's, it's a it's kind of like a call you, you never know how it's going to turn out you just kind of got to go in and, and and do whatever you can um so i mean i think every game you go into you know the guys think all right this is the game you want to win it you know especially to get to the next level in the playoffs but um uh i just think those guys definitely they're going to come in with that same mindset for sure so getting back to the eagles team now right no no nigel bradham right what does that mean for your role on defense? Obviously, you, you have experience playing on defense, starting in Atlanta, also on special teams. But what is that going to mean for you on Thursday night? Uh, you know, right now, um, just learning everything, being able to uh, step in with my numbers called. Um, if, if that happens, then you know, I'll be ready, just staying ready. You never know what can happen throughout the course of a game, um, you know, just with guys and, and how the game turns out. So you just got to stay ready. So for me, you know, being in the league this for you know six years now, uh, I've always kind of prepared myself and just been ready whenever my numbers were called. How much are the guys asking you for uh, scouting reports <laughs> on the players? Uh, well, you know, it's funny because you know these guys, the coaches, everybody, they have a good idea of that team just playing them the last couple of years. So there's only so much that I can kind of throw out there, but just with the insight over the last couple of years, these guys kind of got to handle. It. What is the key to stopping the Falcons' offense? Because they've got the same offensive coordinator coming back in Sarkeesian for a second year. They've got all the weapons from Matt Ryan all the way down to the running backs of Julio Jones. What, what, what's the biggest key to stopping them? Uh, you know, with that explosive offense and, and, and how they get the ball out to so many different players with Matt Ryan, uh, the biggest thing is, you know, just uh, that run game. you got to be able to kind of control part of the game. And, and I think, you know, just focusing on controlling that run game, controlling the stress game, because that's the engine. That's what gets those guys going. Um, you know, Matt Ryan does a great job. You can never, you know, not count Julio because, you know, he's a great player. Um, but just that ground game, Devontae Freeman, Tevin Coleman, and just being able to stop that run, that, that perimeter run game, you know, something big. How tough is it because you have two backs who could be starters individually for any team and be the workhorse backs, but they're rotating in that backfield there in Atlanta? Right, right. No, it's tough. You just have to be, you know, mentally prepared and physically prepared to go in and, and compete because that's what those guys are going to do. Uh, they're going to be ready. So, and I know these guys, just you know, the way the work we put in, these guys are ready to go and get after it.